Welcome back, everybody. Oh, welcome back. I uh, bumped my mouse going to hit the record button. It got turned around <laughs> and got lost. It's all good. Let's see. Where did they come from? Oh, it's right here. So I, I have a, a VPN router set up at my parents' house for, you mm -hmm. know, perfectly needed normal reasons don't ask questions yeah um but it i realized it was offline the other day and i texted my dad and i was like hey you know the the thing went offline i don't know if it just um the computer needs rebooted or something i don't know what happened to it can you uh check on it when you get a chance and he calls me and he goes here's the deal and i'm curious what your thoughts are on the company doing this he says apparently they started having internet issues their router stopped working, and it's one of those ones provided by the cable company. Yeah. So they had to come out there and uh, do some diagnostics, and they did all the diagnostics and checked it and then realized that, oh, no, your router's bad. It's like it's just end of life and gone, gone out. We just need to replace your router. So he gets a new router, goes in, replaces it, and comes back and to my dad and just goes, oh, ran into one snag. Uh, your old router had four Ethernet ports on it. Your new one only has three, and you got four things plugged into this. So I just got to, what, what, can, what can I keep disconnected? What the fuck? What do you think of, like, like what, what do you think the company should be doing in that case? I mean, the thing is, if he doesn't, I don't actually know because he probably doesn't have one on his truck, right? Like, it's not like he can just put a four. He doesn't have it. Um, right. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what the right answer is here. Because I would think, like, I mean, it's relatively easy fix, and I just got to Now my dad doesn't obviously know how to do it. He's um, he's he goes, I don't, I don't know. I need like a you know an Ethernet splitter or something. I'm like, I got you. Like I I know what exactly what you need. You just need a switch, like, and I can yeah. send you a little like five port switch or something to to plug in and make this right. And I will say that I got a new. I used to have my own routers from the, the cable company that we have out here at the other house that we own that we rent out. And those routers started to have problems every so often. And the tenants would call and be like, hey, the internet's out. And I'd have to, like, have them reset the router. Then they updated it and said that, like, I could change my internet plan. And it was the same price, but it came with uh, the, the equipment from the company. And I was like, okay, this will be better because then I can just call them and complain to them when something goes wrong and say, hey, something's wrong with your, your system. You need to come you know, yeah. fix it or whatever. So I upgraded to their stuff and did notice that their uh, gateway system that they have also only has three ports on it. So I don't know if that's the new standard with huh. equipment is three ports instead of four. But oh, weird. I would think that the tech, and that, that was a self-install, though. So I got it from the, the company. They just gave it to me. Don't tell you anything about it. And then it's, like, up to you to put it in. You can call a tech if you need to uh, schedule something, but you can do it on your own. But I would think if they're moving from a standard of four ports to three ports that my parents aren't the first people that they ran into. Yeah. That I have, have they probably did the same thing every time. Like, huh? Well, just no just tell them, how, yeah, I don't know what to do. Just do it. What, what can we not plug in anymore? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty wild, but, I mean, what else can they really do? I mean, I would think that maybe in those situations they would make a note and be like, we'll come back out with a switch, or they carry some switches on maybe. there. Maybe. I'm just going to close this floor in right here. I guess for the you know, everything is pretty much going to wireless for yeah. the average person nowadays so for most people it's probably doesn't come up as a problem but i just i just can't imagine that the company hasn't run into this more to have a better answer than oh, i don't know I just, we just gotta disconnect yeah. something you know customer's problem yeah basically and that's what i feel like and my dad is not a you know tech savvy person for you know knowing what type of equipment like like i said he kept asking me for just like an ethernet splitter that's all i could think of is he's like the yeah. like we, the old cable just did something to split the ethernet i'm like yeah it's it's a switch i can i can help you out but i have to send you equipment and then he even said i said you just take one of the things out plug it into there and then plug two of the items into the switch i'm going to send you he's like well I'm just when it comes in i'll call you so right. you can walk me through it you know <laughs> sorry about that Thanks, Krista, there. <laughs> She's full of alert in the middle of 
record it. They did what? There was uh, a subscription, and like it came out of my phone. It was like, oh, interesting. Uh, so was, yeah, because I had my phone on on the for alerts and stuff when I was in the woods, um, and I just forgot about it because no one subscribed since I've been sitting here recording with you. But my story made them really want to subscribe. Yeah. They want to switch. Oh god, that was not right. Oh, my lob is doing weird things. There we go. There's more iron. I want Sometimes that. it's just really hard to get lava in a spot to light up an area because, like, there's just nowhere good to put it, you know? There's nowhere good to put it, and I'm having problems where I'm putting it down, and it's going in, like, a different spot than I'm putting it down. <laughs> I had that happen before. I had to reconnect, remember? Like, I couldn't place it. It was, like, trying to dump it on me. Yeah, yeah. And that's scary because I don't want to die. Yeah. And this is, again, not worthy of a lava wall because it's a dead end so you come with me go up here have you come across any slimes yet no i haven't seen a single slime me neither i hope if i can get to some start getting glass that's what i really want i hear a skelly oh yeah that's right you want to dupe sand I yeah because once we can get unlimited supplies of sand, then, you know, it'll be the lava walls will put off more light. Yeah, true. Okay, remember that spot where the uh, two lava, the lava's running right next to the water? Yeah. I have made it looping around to, like, the top of the water, at least. It looks like the lava still goes up higher, but making some progress here. There's a skeleton below me, though, who's trying to shoot me off a ledge and I don't want him to do that <laughs> I don't want him to I actually kind of want to just pillar over to to pass this but now it, that like really scares me I'm just putting like these single lavas down in spots where I can't really find a good spot for the um, a wall just to light up a little tiny area just so things will stop spawning. And that is safe on that side. Oh, yeah, I did get to the top of that lava. It just loops around in a weird way. I think you must be by me. I just heard gravel break. Mm, no. You didn't break any gravel. That's weird. Does walking on gravel make a really loud sound in this yeah, version? Yeah, it, like, it sounds like gravel's breaking when you walk on it. Okay, that could be what's going on. Is this an opening? A UHC, someone's coming for you. Oh my god, I thought this was like the end of this area because I ran into like a gravel wall, but it looks like it just opens up into more right past this gravel. Oh my god, well, they're seemingly big cave i feel like that used to be so, something that happened so often in caving where if you came to a wall of gravel there'd be more cave behind the wall of gravel yeah and that's what i'm getting into and i do somewhat remember that now too i didn't bring a shovel did i oh it did oh, jesus christ Okay, maybe it's just a giant wall of gravel. <laughs> it's just the gravel just goes back really, really far and really, really high, and then it's nothing. Hey, more more arrow supplies though. Um, yeah, I feel like when I did this before, um, once I uh, once I got arrows, I would pretty much try to only use arrows and just stay away from mobs. Yeah, because they hit you even when you're, like, right up next to them. It's not... Yeah, I don't think that was as bad in single player, though. I feel like that's worse here. Yeah, that definitely could be lag issues. I mean, I am playing this on an <laughs> old PC that's got four gigs of RAM, and it's like a mini PC. It's uh, <laughs> not exactly really? a powerhouse. Yeah. Well, remember back in the day when I got those um, servers for like 30 bucks a, for a three-year period or whatever? Yeah. They, they were only two gig 
servers like hosted in Chicago or something like that. And they would, I can't say they were perfect, but they ran old Minecraft like without right. too much struggle. Minecraft really was not a powerhouse back then like it is now. Yeah, it does seem like it takes more to run oh, a server God. now than it used to. I just walked. I was just digging out one place to make a lava at the end of this just to keep it lit up. And, of course, it broke into a cave. Good. I don't know if it's good. I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> it's like you're having an emotional breakdown about it. Well, it's like I'm above it is the problem. So it's below me. So I don't know how to safely get to it while still lighting this up. Uh-huh. So I put my wall in where I was going to put my wall in. It's going to block what I wanted. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Oh, too dark. I just don't know where all these mobs in this one little area right by our house are coming from. Like, it must be from, like, up above or something. Because, like, I just keep putting down lava and there still just keeps being mobs in the same area. Hopefully I didn't just flood somewhere that you're at, because the lava I poured went down. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll, I'll know when I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, this one doesn't seem to have gone as crazy as that last one did. Oh, I... Uh, There's a bunch of cobble in front of me. Huh. Like That's broken cobble. Hurt. Like cobble that we must have placed. Oh. Uh. Where is this? Unless this is another dungeon. This could be a dungeon. Oh, I think it's another zombie dungeon. Really? I think so. I'm out of light to tell. Yeah, I need to go get... I definitely hear zombies. Wait, I think this might be the back of our zombie dungeon. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Because they're dying, for sure. Uh oh, then yeah, probably. I kind of want to peek in and see, but I can't really tell. Where do that at? What? Where am I? I'm so confused. I think this might be... Remember when you dug those stairs? Yeah. And there was, like, the platform underneath? I think I'm in that platform. I want to just come back out this way, but it's dark. It's so dark. Oh, man, I'm on a pick. Are you anywhere near the base? Uh, I think I am, yeah. I think, like, right above it. I want you to, if you can, to come... To the, to the zombie spawner. I want to find out where I'm at in relation to you because I just broke my pick and I'd rather just go straight back out if I'm right next to you. Right. But I don't know if I am. I'm ready to get there. This way. I just don't know where to go from here. Yeah, I need to go... Yeah, you're delayed. Yeah, up and through the platform. And then I'm looking for your name. All right, I'm at the, like, AFK spot. Uh, I'm, I heard you open the door. Can you see my name, like, below oh, you? Oh, yeah, you're, like, right Oh, oh you're, uh, okay. How can I get down to you the easiest? Without a pick. I don't know. I don't see your name anymore. Oh, so I was shifting just to not fall oh. off an edge. Um, I mean... You said you don't want to fall off an edge, so you're like. Oh you're no, no, no. I was just, I was just crouching while killing some gravel. Like it's not, like there's a see. dangerous edge next to me. If you just, how far up do you think I am compared to you? My F three is negative eight. No, my Y is thirty five. That's what I need. Uh, Twenty six. Oh, so it's still a good ten blocks. Okay, maybe I do need to. Oh, wait, I have, I have enough wood. Hold on, I can make, 
can make me a pickaxe. I'm almost there. Hi. Hey. Yoink. Ah, much better. Okay, so yep, that was our zombie spawner. <laughs> but I've lit up a lot around it, that means. That's good. Should help with uh, spawns. Hopefully. Oops. Psh. Let's throw that workbench there. We probably need uh, some light in that little hallway right there. The one we just dug? No, the uh, the one that goes to the spawner. Oh. Yeah, probably. It's not exactly the safest. Okay, give me a new pick. Because it leads to our other farm, too. So things spawn in there and then trample our crops, etc. Man, all of my iron is so almost dead. And I don't want to waste it, but knowing what we know about iron. Yeah, I mean, it's weird. I, did, I don't... That's not how armor works now, right? It is not how armor works now. I did have somebody comment on the, the video saying, because they watched Kurt J. Max so much, they knew that's how armor worked. But they didn't uh, comment on, like, if that was short-lived. Was it a change? Like, I don't, I don't know what version he plays on, if it's this one or if it's still newer ones. I heard hissing. Yeah. It's by the fucking house, man. I can't... Um... I can't get it lit up well enough. Like, where, no matter how hard I try. Where is this hiss? Is, is it you? Like, yeah, not you, funny. but... Yeah, no, I'm making that sound. <laughs> it, sounded, it sounded like it was literally next to me, and I'm like, there's nothing around me. I keep looking. It's, it was at the back door of our house. Let's see. Like, I guess it's up above here. I, I guess I'm not doing enough up, maybe. I don't yeah, there's a whole like, upper section here that still oh, seems. Lord. I don't know where you're at exactly. I got it. Okay. I think these mushrooms up here must have spread. You know how I was like, I don't think our mushrooms are spreading. Yeah. The ones up there's so many mushrooms up here. Like, surely these spread. I don't know. I haven't looked at ours in a while. Let me go look at them. Let's see if they spread. <laughs> Yeah, this there's a zombie way over here that I don't see where he would have spawned in anywhere by where he was at. Hmm. Oh yeah, these have definitely spread. Yeah. So we know what we're doing. Why why did we want mushrooms again? Yeah, we were just thinking for food. Like mushrooms stew or whatever. There is something to say about those modded uh, Minecraft versions that make you have a variety of food. Yeah, do you like that? Um, ooh, it uh, it makes it really hard when you're playing, but I like the concept of it. Yeah, I like the idea. I, I like I like the fact that it exists for people who want to play like that. How's that? Yeah. So is this like Terra Craft? I don't know specific. I definitely have heard of it. I don't know if I've actually played Terra Firmacraft specifically. Do we want to make? Go ahead. Are we want to keep these mushrooms here that are all spread, or were you keeping them for a reason? Uh, no, we could pick them up. I uh, I did go pick the ones in our house. Okay. I left some behind to spread them. Yeah, this place just has a lot of uh, places that need to get lit up, which is why mushrooms yeah. spread. <laughs> so. Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me. What, me picking that mushroom? Yes. <laughs> Let's do this to see how crazy it is up here. I'm trying to see if this goes farther. God, there's a yeah, lot this of... Yeah, why all the shit's coming from over here, I guess. Yeah, there is a lot of noises from behind one of these walls. There's so many zombies. It's either a giant cave or another spawner. Well, I hear like spiders and stuff too, so oh, I think it's uh, a cave. Cave, yeah. I have such a bad time or hard time telling in this if they're up or down when the sounds come. Yeah, I, honestly, 
I have never gotten any better at that. Oh, yeah. I made it to Icy Cave. It's Icy? It's I Icy Cave, yep. It was the snowy biome. Remember whenever... Uh, I don't even know. If, I don't know if it was this version, where it was or, either snowy biome or not. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like you either got a snowy world or you got a not snowy world. Oh, that was fake lava. I remember, I'd got a snowy world, and my friend was so jealous. Well, you just have to respawn if you wanted a snowy world. Yeah, but like, I mean, you couldn't choose, right? No, uh, no. Yeah, it was definitely random. Oh fuck! 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 Okay, I saw your name. Let me see if I can. I don't know. How'd you get down to where you're at? I just went back the way we came. Fuck. Oh, there you are. I see you. Oh, fuck. Are, you are you dying? No. I just made a mess. Oh. Not the lapis. Yeah, I remember starting a snowy world and being excited because it was, you know, different. And I think after, like, a couple days of playing on it, I was like, this now sucks. I don't like it. I want regular worlds. Yeah. Yeah, there really wasn't anything that special about the snowy world. I didn't even think you could make snowballs was... or anything yet. It was just white all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Even looping over to this area where those mushrooms are at is confusing. Oh, no. How did I get up there? Huh. Okay. Okay, how do I... Oh, well, we're out of time here, folks. So, uh... We will have to see you in the next episode. All right, guys. See you.